Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love mothers? This is Mama Love. Welcome back to my channel. And it's just, you know, nothing in particular, nothing very special. Just wanted to show you what I do with uh, my leftover um, meals that I have cooked and um, did not really need enough. I don't know how you, how you uh, make a meal when you don't need the can of Rotel that you've set to the side or you didn't use all the um, broccoli or you didn't use all of the, um, you know, pasta. I'm going to show you how to just throw something together real quick. Nothing too serious though, but where well, you can still like, kind of like stay on top where you don't get hungry or whatever and you don't go to grabbing for anything. I want to keep you something plant-based around. You always want to keep your meal around, okay? So this is my secret on not falling off vegan even though I love being vegan, but these are my secrets, you all. I just make up meals. Whatever comes to my mind, I'm putting it together. So stay tuned. Okay, so over at my faithful skillet, I grabbed me maybe like a half of it no a tablespoon of vegan butter and I had this leftover pasta you all um it is by uh, legum is how you pronounce it legumes yeah like from lentils but it's made from lentils not chickpeas so I had this left over and I'm gonna go ahead and put that over in a skillet okay all it, the season that it has on it is um 24 herbs and spices and a little sea salt was on it and um it's you know it's already been boiled uh but basically like i'm yeah boiled and put in the refrigerator you know just you know to set aside in a tupperware bowl because i didn't use all of it earlier when i made up a little chili mac i had that leftover chili and um so i put a little bit of um you know pasta noodles over in it and here's my broccoli i'm just gonna go ahead and Maybe like a little handful of broccoli. I love broccoli. Broccoli is good. Yeah. Maybe you probably needed to pick these apart. Oop. What you do when you're trying to hold the camera? I don't like that big old stock in there like that, but I'm going to make that look better. Okay, so I had to take all the little big stocks off of it. And then I whisked it around a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour a little, just a little, to wet it around. Um, vegetable broth. I don't want my noodles sticking. Even though the butter is was in it. I just wanted the butter more for the the noodle flavor okay and uh, I had left over tomatoes oh should I say Rotel I'm gonna go ahead and put that over in there I'm gonna say oh she just putting something together now no I'm not, I'm not. I promise you all I'm not just thinking of ideas, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna add another item to this, which I think is gonna be good uh, to each his own. I love black olives. Yes, I love black olives and garlic cloves. And that's what I'm gonna be adding to this. Okay, so over here, my little favorite food processor, I got my black olives and garlic. Gar Just wanna grind them up. I don't wanna puree them or anything. I'm gonna add that. Mmm. I think the only thing I don't have over in here is onions. But you know what? I think I'm gonna leave the onions out this time. But then again, I don't know. It's pretty, but it wouldn't look, it would look prettier with red onions in it. I'm gonna say purple onions. Onions is purple all day. Well, you know what? I just went and used 
the white onion simply because I had about one fourth of one left and I didn't want to chop a whole red onion so I said you know what the point of this video is to take your leftovers that you used from other meals and put them together not leftovers but open cans that you didn't use and adding another can or something to it now I could just keep adding to this y'all I could I, you know what I could add some chickpeas um, to this or I can drain some black beans and put them over in here but I don't really want to do too much I just kind of like the idea of the broccoli and the uh, tomatoes the onions the black olives garlic I kind of like that okay and uh, I want to add like a sauce I almost want to add a sauce and you know what I think I'm going to because I'm going I'm doing this as I go okay I added a low sodium uh, meatless spaghetti sauce in it and I don't think I want to overdo it so I think I just want to lightly hit it you know I don't want like a heavy type of pasta type of sauce I already put sea salt in it just because I have I'm holding the camera yeah I'm a little being a little lazy with the little tripod tonight this is just off the spare the moment video but I had this idea and I had to just come in here and make it up, you know. And uh, it's still all, believe it, looking at that, that is still all vegetables, you all. It's still all vegetables. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my 21 seasoning salute. Like I said, I already got my sea salt in it. Okay. This time, you all, believe it or not, adding black pepper. A little pepper taste. Uh huh. Okay. That's like having a pizza instead of crust. Your crust, because I'm gonna make a a pizza. I'm gonna make a homemade pizza, you all. Instead of your garlic, uh, garlic. Instead of your uh, cauliflower crust, it's just with the lentil noodles. So you got lentils and vegetables in this pot okay and I'm gonna top it off you already know y'all figure it out what is it guess guess before I do it can you hear can you hear the bag oh hold on y'all I almost forgot my nutritional yeast I got all the seasonings I want I'm going in with a nutritional yeast just a little bit because remember I said it gives it great flavor <laughs> this thing almost got like a cheese taste to it you all Look at that. This is a quick meal prep. This is something I can stay on top of my game because I'm not going to be all hungry and grab. Uh-uh. Not this time. Not, not this time. Next, I'm going to go in and this is last. My plant-based cheese. Mozzarella, y'all. It's kind of like a pasta, pizza pasta. Okay. And that's all to that meal, y'all. I'm going to let this cheese melt a little bit. Yup. Here it is in a bowl. Oh, okay, you all. I'm, I'm gonna taste this. Of course, I know it's good, but I just got to, you know, to tell y'all that, you know, stay up on your game. Stay up on it. Don't. I'm not. I'm not turning this loose. I'm feeling too good in my body. You know, a lot more energy I do have, and spite the the uh, the ankle that that gives me pain, a braise. I'll say a braise of pain. You know. It's not excruciating like it was, but I'm telling y'all, it's 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 making a dip. The body is slowly healing itself, you all. I'm I'm doing all of this. What they told me that I had rheumatoid arthritis and all of this type of stuff. I'm doing this off one pill, taking no medication. Where I was taking prednisone, I was taking medication for gout. I didn't even take the medication for rheumatoid arthritis. I am on one pill, you all, and that is the Coumadin 
warfarin that I'm on. The blood thinners is supposed to be since I had been taking those since from, from 2003. But I'm coming off with them next too. Uh, drink plenty of water. Um, I'm going to give me some vitamin what B12 or whatever. Make sure you get your protein. If you don't get enough protein, I heard supplements was good or whatever. But I mean... I, I mean, I eat enough black beans around here, you know what I'm saying? Some chickpeas and all of that to get enough protein, I feel, but. Mm, mm -mm. Yes, you are. This is so good. So, this is a quick video I want to do. Be faithful to your water. When God made water, he knew what he was doing. I just had to make this video real quick, y'all, to encourage y'all. I see people in my comments saying, you're making me want to do this. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, people, take it from a person like me. I'm talking about went out to eat every day, ate whatever I want. When you pig out, okay, didn't care, all right? I love me some chicken. I love fish. I love crab legs. I love shrimp. I was never kind of like a red meat eater. Like, I wasn't a steak person. I wasn't a hamburger person. But some chicken and some catfish and some crab legs and, yes, yeah, shrimp and all. Yeah, put that in front of me. It was over with. Now, if I can, I can do it. Y'all can do it. Y'all can do this. You're not starving. Um, The pasta is not fattening itself because uh, it's, like I said, made from, I got this brand, you all. Made from lentils. Now this is not bonza, but this is a uh, Lindsay ligament uh, noodles. Hope I said that right. But you can do it. So basically, like, like I said, lentils and some vegetables. I mean, can't mess up. You just can't mess up. Drink your water. Hey, you know. And you, I mean, I don't be hungry. You know what I'm saying? I don't be hungry. Uh, the fiber in, inside of the, the pasta, which is the beans and everything, it, it keeps you full. So, you know, yeah. I just wanted to tell y'all that. Encourage y'all to come on, join this with me, get on this train with me, because I ain't getting off, all right? So, peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed. Mm.